997, Jamie. Okay. Behind the scenes there, I'm here with his notepad. Too many things on my head, so trying to keep up. <laughs> All right, cool. Right guys, welcome back to another action-packed episode. Today we have a 9 and 1.2 Turbo S completely stock hardware going for our stage one software. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. We have a stunning 992 Turbo S convertible in shark blue going for our ES700 package. So we'll be able to see what that does on the road and on the dyno. And uh, we'll also be talking about our uh, another project that we've started for a customer on a 997.1 six-speed manual convertible with an ES850 and Cyvex. So that's going to be a really cool project. I mean, that car eventually, Chris is going to be going 1400 in that car. So it's going to be pretty mad. But for now, um, it's going to be an 850. So we'll go through some of the processes on that. And last but not least, Jamie's ES1100. So we've seen the results on the dyno. We've seen Jamie's first drive video, which is out now. And a lot of people were asking the dragging numbers, this, that, and the other. So you, if you stay tuned, you'll see what he actually did on the road on Draggy over 100 to 200 and a quarter mile. So keep watching. Right guys, so we just finished up with Ian uh, 901.2 Turbo S. This is just a stage one with stock hardware. As you can see, it made 600 at the wheels and 545 foot pound of torque. Um, that torque curve is awesome. See, it comes in not too early, like bang on in the middle. 4,700 is where it makes peak torque and um, it pretty much holds it quite the way through. And the uh, yeah, power curve as well, there's no dob dips in power. Uh, or anything like that, it's holding power right until the uh, the red line. So that's um, a, a great increase uh, over stock there. It's over 700 horsepower at the crank. Um, if we take a look at that graph compared to the stock one, as you can see, it's uh, quite a jump in uh, the red graph, which is stock power, and the green graph, which is, which is after the tune. In the mid range, you can see the difference is um, over uh, 90, yeah, it's about 100 wheel horsepower in the mid-range there and it carries on increasing. So there's about 107 wheel horsepower there, 104 wheel horsepower there, 106 there. So it just carries on all the way through at over 100 wheel horsepower. Gains um, over the stock file with our custom tuned file. So remember, this is just completely stock hardware, just our software. And we've tuned this to ensure that there's no issues with drivability. Some cars, they come in with really like high torque down in the lower RPMs. It makes them a little bit undrivable. Um, the cars tend to heat up with the stock hardware. So you've got to be careful with the stock intercoolers. You don't want to be running too much boost early on in the car because then it's going to heat up and you're going to get heat soak and it's going to cause further issues when you're taking it out um, for a hard spirited drive. But this has been tuned with, take, with that taken into consideration. So we know what the boundaries are um, and it's tuned so Ian can enjoy it day to day, you can drive it, enjoy a spirited, spirited drive. The characteristics are still similar to stock but it's just a whole load faster. So there's no real drawbacks at all to, um, to getting it tuned. It's just a much more enjoyable drive and much faster as well. So we'll get that draggied and um, see what numbers it makes on the road. So Ian's draggy numbers. We started off with a stock car and stock it is a 6.46 100 to 200. Now after the tune, that went down to a 5.48. The quarter mile is now 10.23 at 218.81 kilometers. So that's a massive, massive gain from uh, from factory on the actual road. Um, and the trap speed, 135.9 mile an hour. 
on the quarter mile is seriously moving as well. Um, so that's still with stock hardware, just stage one tune. And the second faster 100 to 200 as well. Uh, what you can see here behind me is a 997. So this is having our ES850 kit. Now the customer on this watched our video of um, the Taha's white one that we took out um, and he was impressed, he was loving it. So we have got him a kit ready to go for this one. So this will be going into build very soon. Um, he's got a fair bit to go on this car obviously. So bigger turbos, manifolds, um, Y pipe. Um, yeah, he's got a fair bit to do on the car. Um, and obviously with wanting to put the power down and stuff like that, he's gonna have to go for clutches as well. So this is a six speed manual as well. So this is gonna be a little bit of a crazy car to be fair. Um, he ain't got ceramics or nothing, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You've got the power. It's got the brakes are good enough on these, but when you've got ceramics, it's like you, you, you don't worry about how, how short the runway is. Um, so yeah, this would be one to look out for because um, I'm kind of excited building these because I love 997s. I absolutely, especially six speed manuals, man. They're like, they are my favorite. So yeah, getting this one done, built, tuned in, dialed in and that. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for this one because it's um, it makes some good numbers. Right guys, so as you've seen by now, Jamie's car ran a 9.11, uh, 911, running a 911 as well. But um, but yeah, this car's still got a whole load more potential in it. The trap speed is very strong, almost 160 mile an hour. And um, the launch, we just need to dial that in a little bit more. When we get a bit more time, it's just there's some roadworks on the road where we normally use, so it's a bit tough at the minute. But we're probably going to take um, take it out on, when Jamie takes it out next, we'll, we'll get him to dial it in so he can get get the, the better number in it. It'll be better if he does the number himself. So um, so yeah, this car will get an eight eventually. So we just need the right surface, right conditions. At the minute, 60 foot's around about 1.63164, I think. It might be a bit slower than that. I can't remember now. But um, but yeah, once this gets 60 foots in the one fives, it's, a, it's an eight second car all day long. But, um, but yeah, keep watching out for that because it's gonna be coming to some events soon as well, so. Yeah, see what it does once it's up a little bit more. Right, so this guys is the ES700 992 Shark Blue Convertible S final power figures. As you can see, it made 709 at the wheels and 617 foot-pound of torque. But check that curve, as always. That is just a masterpiece, it's awesome. You can see the power just comes in and it just, yeah, it's, it's basic power all the way through the RPM range. It's, uh, the, the, it's very linear power curve. And the torque curve as well, it's, it's very flat. It comes in not too early, it comes in around about 4,000, uh, 5,000 RPM, it hits peak torque. And then, um, yeah, it just holds pretty well right until the end of the RPM range as well. This car actually ran a 9.85 quarter mile draggy time and a 4.900 to 200, which for a convertible car is super, super fast, you know? And all this is, is our custom race exhaust system and our custom software tune. So just with those two upgrades, you can get over 800 horsepower at the crank. You see the power there and you can get a nine second daily driven car all day long and every day. So um, so yeah, that's an awesome package for the 992s. And it's definitely, if you have a 992 and you want a little bit more out of it, a little bit more noise and power, then that's the one to consider for sure. Guys, so that's another ES700 done, 992. A Catalyst stainless steel exhaust, full race system with M-Ray's custom tune and it made bang on 709 wheel horsepower. Sounds insane. It looks beautiful, man. man. You've heard it, that sound with the roof down, the owner's gonna love it completely. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching once again. Keep tuned and subscribe for next week. We got loads more coming. We got more updates on Darren's uh, 1500 wheel horsepower 
twin turbo fully built Hurricane. We've got Chris's 9970 S850 that's going to be getting completed. We've also got Asim's car that's back from fabrication now because we had all his hard pipes done, so that's going to be getting completed. We'll have some more updates on Craig's car. And we've also got a really special KN Turbo S E Hybrid Coupe coming in for a stage one. So we'll have more on that, results on that. So keep watching and stay tuned.